what is happening everybody today i wanted to bring you a quick video um, about chinchillas and how to go about adopting them from a breeder and how to choose a breeder in general um, local to you or even choosing a pet store or a rescue so let's go ahead and dive right into that next hey real quick guys before we get started with the actual video i just want to do a quick reminder about a few things uh, first off make sure you like subscribe down below um, if you like these videos so that I can keep making them for you and so that you keep getting notified as a new video is made. Secondly, if you're on this video, which is pertaining to finding a breeder, clearly you're probably pretty new um, to the whole chinchilla ownership ordeal or you haven't quite gotten to the point where you've adopted one. With that being the case, um, I highly, highly, highly recommend um, checking out my newest ebook. I will put the link in the description below for you. Um, that's going to cover everything you need to know from choosing the breeder, um, accessories, general care, diet. It is a complete guide um, from the adoption process um, on. So it's a great way to kickstart everything so that you have the information that you need and a great way just to make sure that you're doing everything kind of by the book with your new chinchilla. With that being said, let's move straight into the video and start talking about how to choose a breeder and what your best options are. All right, guys, as you can see, uh, it was playtime for Chili here. So I wanted to go ahead and make this video while she was out and about doing her thing. She uh, just naturally went back into her cage by herself, which is kind of rare. I don't know if she's in one of her moods or what. But anyways, let's start diving into choosing a breeder um, and get down into kind of the specifics of that topic in general. The first thing to understand um, about these guys is that you have three options um, when you first go to adopt. Uh, one, obviously being a local breeder in your state, not every single state's going to have one available on this post. You can see that I have all of the breeders that you can choose in your state if they are available. If you're just on the YouTube channel right now, you'd want to navigate to that post to see what I'm talking about, which I will put the link in the description below. Then you also have a pet store and you have like a local rescue as options number two and three. Um, all of these have some pros and some cons, but overall what I would do if I had the option is start with a breeder um, that's in your area or within driving distance just so you don't have a long haul to get your chinchilla back home because that travel time is stressful. Now, assuming that you don't even have the option to use a local breeder at all, you can lean on something like PetSmart or Petco. The downfalls to this is Typically, the chinchilla is not going to be as socialized. Um, probably hasn't been around other chinchillas as often as a chinchilla from a breeder would be. Um, and the people that work at the pet store just aren't, I have no idea what she's doing. She's being ridiculous. Um, they just aren't going to have that knowledge base about chinchillas in general. They're not going to be as helpful for you. She's all over the place today. But nonetheless, it is an option. It's still a good option. You can still get a great chinchilla from a pet store or a local rescue. Um, I'm just a big believer if you have a breeder that is close enough to use that. And another big thing to keep in mind is that a breeder is more helpful to you in the beginning unless you have resources like the ebook that I just mentioned. Again, the link will be in the description below because they know the ins and outs. They have dozens of them. They've raised them. Um, they know how to care for them and they're going to be able to answer your questions while you're there. And if you're going to decide to adopt two, well then, you know, most likely you're probably going to take a pair while you're there. Not, not to mention a lot of the breeders are going to give you the option to get, you know, the first starter cage, which I would highly recommend, um, upgrading as soon as possible. Um, I use like this tiny little wire bottom cage in the beginning and then recently upgraded to that Critter Nation 2 cage that you see right there. It's a big upgrade. Usually the cages you get at a breeder are not great. So besides the cage um, and the benefits that you get from that standpoint of going to the breeder, I just like that whenever I went there, I was able to meet not only the chinchilla I adopted, which is her, but I was also able to see the parents of the chinchilla. I could kind of see how she was interacting with other chins in her cage. Um, I was able to hold her pet her, see what she was accustomed to already, what she was comfortable with. It's just a nice added benefit that you don't necessarily get 
going one of the other directions. Still nothing that says that you can't use a pet store. They're going to be perfectly fine and behave chinchillas. They just may take a little bit longer to warm up to you. Um, if you didn't know, the way she's running around, um, I mean, it could happen on day one. Not always. Uh, these guys usually aren't as outgoing in the beginning, especially some of the stories that I read about. The, I still don't know what she's doing with this cage deal today. Um, anyways, they're usually not super outgoing in the beginning. They're real reserved. They hide a lot in their nesting boxes, which you can see inside of her cage there. Um, in general, I just think that you're going to have a chinchilla that's more open to the handling, the petting, the cuddling, um, and the human interaction if you go with the breeder. But again, pet store, perfectly fine. It's just going to take a little bit more work. All of this, again, guys, is detailed in the ebook that I referenced before, again, link below. Um, there's an entire chapter about the adoption um, process. If you guys want to check that out, use that link, and you can even use promo code NEWCHINS50, so N-E-W-C-H-I-N-S-50, to get 50% off that download if that's something that you're interested in. And then you can also, while you're on that on planetchinchilla.com, you can go ahead and go to my resource page so you can see all the initial items that I recommend picking up if you are adopting a chinchilla in the next few days, next week, whatever the case may be, you should start preparing now because um, it'll catch you off guard a little bit. The cage won't be ready. You won't have the accessories like all the fleece liners that you see or the hay feeders, um, even the water bottles and the, the hammocks. Um, you can just go straight over to my resource page to get those, the recommendations. Um, it's just mostly Amazon type stuff, maybe a couple other places in there, but nothing that you're not accustomed to seeing. And it's only stuff that I've tried and recommend. Um, regardless which of those three options you choose between pet store, local rescue and breeder, I think you'll be in great shape. Just make sure you kind of have the baseline knowledge going into it. Um, you know, browse the website, do what you got to do, um, the research on the back end to make sure that you're prepared and, uh, you'll be, you'll be fine regardless. I just think that the people who use the breeder have a little bit of an easier first two weeks, but if there's not one in your state, call up PetSmart, call up Petco, a local rescue, you'll be able to get you, um, probably a chinchilla in the color of the mutation that you're looking for. And me and Chili obviously wish you the best of luck here. And uh, again, make sure you like, subscribe, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the newsletter on the website. And again, the, the ebook is down below if you guys need that information. Same with the resource page. We appreciate you stopping by and we will see you in the next video.